right? We have some identities, some things going on. Right, Aaron? So if we look at this, anytime I see a trig of a negative angle, I'm thinking my I'm thinking using my even odd identities. And then anytime I see this pi half minus x, I automatically think cofunction identities. So they're right behind me, but you need to make sure that you know. I want to simplify this left side here, so therefore this is going to be negative cotangent of x. This is going to equal tangent of x all over positive secant of x. Is everybody OK with what I did there? Cotangent of pi half minus x is equal to tangent of x. Yes? Because secant of negative x equals secant of x. Why would you make it? Like, what would be the difference if you didn't make it? Well, you wouldn't have the same right answer. Guys, again, think of secant. Remember we talked about secant? It looks like this. It's like, like, here's the secant graph. Right? Does the positive and the negative angle still have the same values? So it doesn't matter if it's positive or negative, they still have the same y coordinate. So then why change it? I'm not changing it. What do you mean? I mean, it's equal, if, it's, if it's equal to the same thing, why would you, just, why would you switch it? Yeah. I'll, I'll explain because okay. we'll want to use that. Yes? Cotangent of negative x. Cotangent of negative x is equal to negative cotangent of x. Okay, but what about negative or secant of negative x? Secant of negative x is equal to positive secant of x. All right. Shh. Huh? Yeah, I mean, you could group them together however you want to. Um, but I want to show you guys another thing. So, uh, right here, some of you guys might say, like, I still don't know what to do here. Like I kind of understand, all right, we see the identities, we use them on the board, but then what do I do? So another helpful hint, and again, I'll be going over all the processes and steps when you're not looking at um, through water bottles. But one thing you can always do is rewrite your trigonometric function in terms of sines and cosines. Because everything I have here can always be written in terms of sines and cosines. So therefore, this can be rewritten as cosine of x over sine of x times sine of x over cosine of x divided by 1 over cosine of x. Now the reason why I changed that to, why I, didn't, why I changed that at all is because I, I want them all to be of the angle x. I don't want them to be of the negative x. You want the angles to be the same. You'll see why because then it, it would be the same. How would you know? Like, just change it. Anytime you see the negative x, use so the... You would just do trial and error basically on a test. No, just change them just to using that. your so identities. Like when, once you like, get a question, you just automatically change all of them? No. All it's, of the negative Take some practice. We'll be working on extra examples. Again, this, just remember, this is our first example. Well, guys, I didn't have to do this to, for you guys to see this. Cotangent and tangent are what type of functions? Reciprocal. So the product automatically, automatically equals to 1. But if you write them in sines and cosines, do you guys see again that it equals to 1? Yeah? Where what? Secant is 1 over cosine. No, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about just cosine and sine. Like, you don't have to pull that out. Okay, so cosine cotangent tangent. is equal to cosine over sine. Don't. That's kind of wrong. Well, it's it's equal to sine. That's kind of wrong. It's in your identity. Now, this can equal <laughs> negative 1 over 1 over cosine. If you have a number divided by a fraction, the easy way to get rid of dividing by a fraction is to multiply by the? Reciprocal. Reciprocal. So you could think of the reciprocal as no. you could think of the reciprocal as secant or as as cosine over one, oh. or you could also think about it, huh? Oh, I'm sorry. You could think about so what's the reciprocal is cosine over one or just cosine, right? So if you multiply by cosine of x, I'm sorry, on both sides, you get negative cosine of x. Now you have verified the identity. This is easy. Oh, no. 